Alright, what is happening people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Marcus Rashford and Tammy Abraham, two young English strikers playing for the two most successful Premier League teams in Premier League history. I don't know why that sounded weird. Anyway, they're both 21 years old, they both hail from their own respective academies and they're both playing up front for their teams this season in Chelsea and Manchester United. Who's gonna win this video and then ultimately the league? Who's gonna win the league? Who's gonna do better in the league? Anyway, neither of them are gonna win the league. But we're gonna be talking about them head to head in this video. But before we do get into today's video, on a request that you subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the bell notifications icon to keep it locked because I upload every single goddamn day and I want you guys to keep up with the content I'm doing and if you want to help me out, please do like the video. Alright then, like I said, Marcus Rashford, 21 years old, English, comes from the Manchester United Academy broke through a few years ago and is playing up front for Manchester United at the moment under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a coach that wants to play youth. Tammy Abraham, a 21 year old English striker who hails from the Chelsea Academy, is playing up front for Chelsea at the moment, wearing the number nine shirt under a coach in Frank Lampard who wants to play youth. Plenty of similarities. But interestingly, actually, the similarities end there. Rashford's played for Manchester United's first team for a while now. Um, he hasn't actually done that well, I guess. He hasn't scored that many goals. He exploded on the scene. He got a couple of braces, got called up to England, got another brace or something like that, I think. And he was the talk of the town. Rashford has since gone sort of a bit more quiet over the last few years. His minutes to goal ratio for Manchester United is actually pretty poor. Now, if you want to be completely fair to Rashford, you could maybe put that down to some sort of instability at Manchester United, but still, for my money, he should be doing better. Tammy Abraham is only just getting his chance in the Chelsea first team, but he's done probably what is the right thing and been out on loan a couple of times and scored a bunch of goals. Something that I personally think Marcus Rashford should have done a couple of years ago um, when he wasn't being the first team striker, when people like Zlatan Ibrahimovic or Lukaku was taking the number one spot and Rashford was pushed out wide. I think personally, if not a championship loan, certainly a lower Premier League loan would have done Rashford the world of good and given him the opportunity to be the main man and score a load of goals in a team that's maybe creating a lot of chances. Maybe something like Bournemouth or something. But no, he remained at Manchester United United, and he earns a lot of money. I think he's on a 250k a week contract. Quarter of a million pounds a week. Mm. On the other side of the spectrum, young Tammy Abraham, who's leading the line for Chelsea at the moment in the number nine shirt, is earning 50 grand a week. Tammy went out on loan to the championship and slugged it out with some physical, aggressive play and scored a bunch of goals. He broke records for the highest scoring teenager when he played for Bristol City. He broke the, well, he certainly was the highest Aston Villa scorer for like 30 odd years to score over 25 goals. It's in Tammy's DNA to bag loads of goals and even if it's at a slightly different level he was getting used to it he was just finishing off loads of chances and that for him in my opinion is vital and necessary experience for a young striker so Tammy's been slugging it out in the championship on loan on 50k a week and Marcus Rashford's been doing all the sort of promo deals at a quarter of a million a week playing for Manchester United's first team but I pose to you the question can Tammy Abraham outscore Marcus Rashford in the Premier League this season? Obviously this season Tammy Abraham's already started very very well, he's already scored four goals, two of them being worldly finishes and Marcus Rashford has two. And this comes from only three starts from Abraham and four starts from Marcus Rashford. So it has started well for young Tammy and okay for Marcus Rashford but can Tammy outscore Marcus Rashford? Well. I think it's really important at this point to talk about how Tammy is used to scoring goals. Again, the championship's a different level, but it's a very, very difficult league, let's remember as well. And it's not like he was playing for a Manchester United that, you know, should be dominating English football, should have great players that create loads of chances. He was playing for Bristol City and Aston Villa. They're both only 21, remember, but for all the time Marcus Rashford's been playing in the Manchester United side, he only has... 39 first team goals in his career which 
doesn't seem like a lot across all competitions. Whereas Tammy Abraham, again 21 years old, has already got 58 career first team goals to his name. Even if the bulk of them were in the championship, it is a physically demanding league and when you're playing for teams like Bristol City, you've really got to slug it out and scoring goals is important. You still have to play against physical defences and just by scoring load of goals, it kind of gets into your muscle memory. And if you're in a decent team like Chelsea or a decent team like United, you should be able to convert some chances. Now pre-season, if you went to the bookmakers and said, you know, give me some odds on Tammy outscoring Marcus or Marcus outscoring Tammy, Marcus Rashford would be the favourite 100%. He's got experience in the Premier League, you know he's going to be playing for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and you know Chelsea have got an abundance of problems coming into this season that might you know, cause issues for them scoring goals, let alone an inexperienced striker in the Premier League like Tammy Abraham. But the season has started and Tammy looks comfortable. He's got his four goals, he's done a couple of excellent world-class finishes that I haven't seen Marcus Rashford do recently. Now I'm a fan of Marcus Rashford, I think he's very, very good on the shoulder. I kind of see him as like a young Jamie Vardy type in terms of splitting the centre backs, running, you know, often good at one and ones and scoring goals like that. But Tammy Abraham, he's always looked like this, but he looks like it in the Premier League as well. Looks like the complete centre forward. His hold up play is getting a lot better. He can run the channels, he can run in behind like Marcus Rashford, but he can physically dominate with his height and strength in the opposition area. He can get the scrappy poachy goals, he can apparently do swivel half volley finishes in the corner, he can apparently score from outside the box now as well, so it's looking very promising for young Tammy. Now, this video isn't an anti-Marcus Rashford video. It's not his fault, he earns a lot of money and plays for Manchester United and probably is underperforming at the moment. He is a very talented striker and he has a very particular striker skill set which is very, very good. I just think Tammy Abraham has more in his locker. Whether he can keep that up in the Premier League and keep performing in the Premier League and score more and more and more goals, and let's face it, a very unstable Chelsea side, I'm not sure. There is talk of Tammy Abraham getting a booster contract at Chelsea to take his 50k a week up to 100k a week, which if he's leading the line for Chelsea as the number 9, You'd expect he should have be on that kind of money, I guess. I think 250k a week for Marcus Rashford is too much in my opinion, but football's gone mad. So what does this mean if Tammy Abraham does outscore Marcus Rashford this season? I mean, what does it mean for Rashford at England? Obviously, Gareth Southgate fancies him. He obviously scored a penalty for England. He's played pretty well for England. But if Chelsea's number nine is outscoring Rashford and playing in a different way that basically demonstrates a wider skill set, then surely Tammy Abraham's got to be considered to be deputising for Harry Kane, maybe? I know you've got Callum Wilson and stuff, but already I think Southgate's explained how Tammy Abraham's in his thoughts now he's playing as the number nine first choice for Chelsea. But, you know, if Rashford gets, like, 14 goals this season and Tammy Abraham gets, like, 18, which would be awesome for his first season in the Premier League, proper season in the Premier League in a decent side, then maybe... Maybe. Should he be in that England side over Marcus Rashford? Now, there's no rivalry here apart from them playing for, you know, rival teams, I guess. I think they're both friends, ball accounts, which is nice to see. Like I said before, I am a fan of Marcus Rashford. I don't think he's a bad character by any means. Um, I think he's a good striker. Like I said, I like a lot of his skill set. I just think for this English wonder kid who's 21, this other English kid who's not really seen as a wonder kid, same age, has come up through the ranks, uh, has gone away on loan twice, he's done hard graft, he's scored loads of goals, and he's come into the Premier League with his chest held out, and he's suffered a lot of racist abuse, but he, he came out and responded to that by scoring two excellent goals, and then an another brace the following week. It suddenly looked like the character of Tammy Abraham and his ability is really starting to shine and he could basically do wonders for Frank Lampard's Chelsea. So what do you lot think? Do you think Tammy Abraham can outscore Marcus Rashford in the Premier League this season? And how many goals do you think he could get? Get down in the comments, let me know if you think he can outscore Rashford or if he can just get a certain amount of goals but Rashford will get more. Let me know how many goals and assists you think both Marcus Rashford and Tammy Abraham will get 
by the end of this Premier League season. If you have enjoyed the video guys, please do help me out and like this video. And why not subscribe to the channel if you are new? We've just clocked over 15,000 subscribers, which is excellent considering I've just started this channel this summer. So I'm very pleased and humbled and very keen to keep the ball rolling. Also, feel free to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on Twitter and Instagram. That is at Football Yannick. But other than that, I think I'm done, guys. So you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick, got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be.